This is Dolany TV, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Happy weekend. Happy uh, game number three against the Calgary Flames, Battle of Alberta, the first situation in which it's been a back to back this season so far. So we look forward to that tonight at 8 p.m. Call this a game preview if you want. Call this a life lesson if you need it. And see, you know what, take, uh, take some time to just enjoy the fact that hopefully things are back to normal here. So, a couple of things. You've seen over the past few days, a couple of days off in a row here for me. That's not very typical during the hockey season, but it was very much so needed. You'd know if you're from Alberta, Saskatchewan, or anywhere in uh, the relative sphere of Alberta, you would know we went through quite a cold snap earlier uh, this month. That lasted into a little bit of this past week, still with temperatures in the minus 20s overnight, and that meant my car didn't run. So, relying on rides to work, getting out of bed an extra hour earlier, missing after hours calls, and having to make the boss do the extra work, it's been a rather crappy past two weeks. So, in that, right, a little overwhelmed doing YouTube as well, because, well, you know what, I, I'm a guy that has always maintained all along, I will never work two jobs. I have mad respect for people who work two jobs. Uh, but said, I would volunteer absolutely every hour I could on the weekend if there was a Junior B team or something I could just go out and call games for and enjoy. Unfortunately, I can't. So, hence, I do YouTube. Hence, you know what? I spend a lot of time doing YouTube. Problem is, you burn out pretty quick when it starts to feel like a job. And after going pretty much solidly, I think one day off from Christmas to the first week of February, I needed some time off. I was burnt out. I was done. And the reason the title is Taking Care of Yourself Means is just simply to say, hey, I'm back, but also to give you guys a little bit of a life lesson here that, you know what, sometimes you do got to take care of yourself. You saw my Bell Let's Talk message. You know, that was that 20-minute video back on whatever, January 28th. Well, you know what? Unfortunately, that stuff does still crop up once in a while as it cropped up this uh, past week and took a very heavy toll on me. So here we are finding ourselves getting ready to get back on the horse and get back to action here, hopefully, come tonight's hockey game. And yeah, you can uh, count on a live stream this evening on Dolany TV. I am putting that out there. I'm going to invite you by. It's going to be a new look stream. It's going to be a different situation. It's going to be a whole new thing. And I mean, anyone that's just ready to have a different commentary uh, commentary voice for your Oilers tonight, as opposed to whatever Sportsnet offers us on a national televised game tonight, I would be glad to have you along. But life lesson. All right. You want the life lesson. You've come and listened to me talk and uh, walk you through my past two weeks. How about life lesson? When you get back on the horse, it's usually because you've kind of healed the things that are hurting you and stuff. And taking care of yourself means treating yourself once in a while. I am terrible at this. I have jeans that I've been wearing since my second year of college. And that's back in 2015, okay? I, I have t-shirts, this one in particular. You note the Grand Center Hotel logo on here. That This t-shirt, 2004, 2005 at, at, at the youngest, if not 2003, 2002. I mean, Grand Center Hotel is a parking lot in Cold Lake right now, so <laughs> I'm sorry, right? It's it's uh, it's it's kind of a situation where I don't treat myself to nice things very often. But without further ado, I can stammer on about the Grand Center Hotel and all my memories with my family there, or I can just get to the point of the video and the point of the story. Oh yeah, that's right. Treating yourself is very much so part of taking care of yourself, and so today I decided. Nothing on the back, by the way. Just uh, just thought I'd better make a note of that. But yeah, taking care of yourself means treating yourself once in a while. And I thought, you know what, I'm at the mall already today. I know, man, I was sketching at the mall. Let me tell you, that was people just playing Pokemon Go at the mall like it's just something to do on a Saturday. But that's besides the point. The frustration, though, is I'm standing in line I'm trying to get into EB Games, pick up... Uh, uh, something nice with the gift card I got for Christmas from one of our uh, companies that buys from the shop. And I'm like, man, i got to use this gift card sometime, right? I get my car fired up. I get to go get a coffee from Tim's on a Saturday, unlike I have in the past two weekends, which let me tell you, I would have killed to have a coffee from Timmy's on 
the past two weekends. So fine and dandy, I get to Airdrie and then I'm like, okay, I gotta go to here, make sure I get the car going. And so I had to stop at a buddy's and say, hey, like, let's have a conversation and let's just chat a little bit, let my car cool down and see if it'll start again. It started again, so off to the mall I went, stood in line at EB Games there for, I don't know, about half an hour waiting. I mean, it was a seven person line and it took half an hour to get through. Well, welcome to it, I guess. And got my new controller, by the way. It's a uh, quite something it's uh the very berry controller looks solid right looks awesome so got that all done up and it looks great and it feels great and it's nice to actually be able to play nhl 21 with my buddies and actually be able to pass a puck and shoot a puck properly so well you know what you're sitting in line there and your mind starts turning a little bit and you start getting some other ideas in your head and i'm like oh man i'm already here like i i know i know i'm planning on treating myself in march but I'm already here. Why not do it now? So down to Jersey City, like any other hockey fan, I, I go. And I'm like, okay, all right, all right, all right. This store is actually going somewhere, by the way. They got to have a reverse retro in stock. They did. Problem is, Calgary. Go back to what Eric Francis was talking about on the telecast last night for the Calgary Flames broadcast on Sportsnet. Oh, yeah, he was saying that the Oilers have no depth outside of the Connor McDavid Leon Drysaddle duo. Well, let's take that to a realistic situation here. Tyson's at Jersey City trying to buy, I don't care, a Yesapuli RV jersey, a Ryan Nugent Hopkins jersey. I would have even taken a Drysaddle retro jersey. I, I've said I want either Nugent Hopkins, and of course I've talked about getting a Yesapuli RV jersey, but those, those options don't exist down here. That's what I'm saying is Calgary based retailers for NHL jerseys know that one guy exists. They literally think the Oilers are one player. And oh my goodness, yeah, you already see it on my wall here, the Connor McDavid jersey. I wasn't about to be an idiot and go out there and talk a really tough, good game all this time, right? I've talked a tough, good game all season long, all winter long, that I'm going to get a Nuge or Pooley RV jersey and it's going to be gorgeous. And I've also said I was getting a reverse retro. So now I find myself, I've got a blank, and I can do whatever the heck I want to do. That's the beautiful part here. I can do whatever I want to do, whether it be Nuge, whether it be Bear, whether it be Jones, whether it be Mike Smith or Miko Koskinen, or I don't know, how about a Stuart Skinner? Oh, that would be fun, would it not? I think a Stuart Skinner would be a blast of a jersey to do for sure, so... There's a ton of jerseys I can get done up depending on what I want to do. Oh, maybe a Dominic Cahoon. I don't know a Jujar Kara. Oh, I don't know a Josh Archibald. I, I'm a kill for Josh Archibald the way he's playing lately. So there's a couple of options there, you see, right? There's something to be done. So now I just have to figure out what I'm going to do. Spend a little bit extra to get that pro kit sewn on and figure out who I'm doing. And away I go. But yeah, you know what? Unfortunately, Calgary just knows one thing and one thing about the Oilers is that back in 2015, they drafted a kid named Connor McDavid, and that's the only player that matters down here in southern Alberta. I must have seen like three Connor McDavid jerseys walking through Cross, Cross Iron Mall today, but um, yeah, that's because there is not another jersey that exists down here. There was a dry settle home jersey. Yeah, there was. I'm not going to lie to you. There was a dry settle, but I'm like... Dude, I'm not getting just a random another home jersey just because it has dry settle on the back. Love them to death. Don't get me wrong. But I'm getting a beauty. And the beauty is a nice, gorgeous reverse retro. Oh, my goodness. You know what? Here's the thing. This thing looks sharp on the ice. This thing looks good on line. Let me tell you in person, it looks, feels, and acts just like a regular Pro Kit Oilers jersey. Like just not a special edition or anything. It feels and looks just like this is something that we wear every other day. Unfortunately, it's not. And we hope to see it improve over here in the next little bit. Now, here's the thing. For the first time in my life, you see that Connor McDavid jersey? I always go the wrong way. You see that jersey behind me? You see it? That Connor McDavid jersey is big, so is the Condors jersey, and so is the... Oilers jersey, their largest, right? Well, I got myself a 46 here, so I'm going to display this up for you. Oh, by the way, a 
hold on if I can. Yeah, you know what that means, right? You know exactly what that means. Not to flaunt, but. There you go, right? Right? Perfect. So. I actually bothered to do a good job here for once, and I think to wrap it all up, right, is taking care of yourself means treating yourself a little bit once in a while. Like I said, I still have those jeans that I've been wearing for six years. Might be time next month, instead of buying a reverse retro jersey like I was going to, might be time to replace the jeans next month. But let me tell you, as it currently stands, gee, am I glad I went out and did this. And there we go. We're back in action, baby. I'm Tyson. This is Stolen TV. I'm up on out of here.